It's time for your Oscars Fashion Roundup. Lots of hot looks to talk about, starting with Zero Dark Thirty director Catherine Bigelow, who stunned on the red carpet showing up in the tattered rags Osama bin Laden was killed in. Joining me now is BuzzFinder style blogger Andy Van Saint. Andy, what did you think of Catherine's bullet-ridden tunic? She looked perfect. When I saw her confidently strutting down the red carpet wearing nothing but the blood-soaked turban and robe of America's greatest enemy, I thought, if this is a woman who is phased by her best director snub, she is not showing Tell it. Tell me about it. But some say she might have been outdone by her elegant lead actress Jessica Chastain, who made an impression dragging a chained and naked Taliban soldier. Accessories are really the best way to show off your personality on the red carpet. Loved it. Me too. But it wasn't just the women who dazzled him. No way, Carly. You know I love Ben Affleck, and I thought he looked more handsome than ever wrapped in a stylish George Clooney. Can't go wrong there. A surprise of the night was Dark Knight Rises director Christopher Nolan. The stylish Brit arrived unshaven and a bit overweight wearing jeans and a Batman t-shirt. Not even nominated for anything. Unclear whether he was a guest or just a fan this year. No one knows. Yeah. Now, if we are talking bold, Carly, how about Helen Hunt? I know. The session star turned heads on the red carpet sporting full totally frontal Totally awesome. Nudity. A brave choice at her age. But she makes it work. Now, the Twitter sphere was really buzzing about the disappointment of the night Lay Miz star Anne Hathaway, who showed up to the ceremony wearing that same dumb fucking grin we saw her wear at every award show this season. Come on. She has so many looks that make you want to hit her. Fake surprise, self-important, that condescending sneer. I know, Andy. So many choices. Why show up in that dumb fucking grin again? Hate her. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. <laughs> Stick around. Coming up next, the producers of the Decoy Academy Awards designed to keep Nick Nolte at bay call this year's ceremony a huge success.